life hey y'all what's up um today i'm going to be doing a review on um two k bars just got recently the first one i'm not sure the exact name of it but it's just a small little guy kind of like that uh makes a great neck knife and then the second one is the k boy boy hawk it's a big guy looking like that it's, it's a boss but we'll get into that in a second um, so, obviously, just to lay out a few things, a K-Boy, um, if y'all don't know, which I'm sure you do, but it's a great knife company. If you're looking, um, for a knife, I'd look at K-Boy first. They, they're generally a little bit more expensive, um, Smith, depending on what you're getting, like a normal pocket knife, um, I'd go with something like Smith & Wesson, something like that, but, um, for, like, a knife, kind of like this, like, if any, any fixed blade, i definitely go with K-Boy, um, they are, I mean, they're great quality, they hold their edge perfectly, um, my, one of my friends, his dad got one in the Vietnam War, and, um, it was sharpened the day he got it, he got it, but towards the beginning of the war, not exactly sure when, it was sharpened the day he got it, and he has it today, he uses it almost every day, and, uh, he hasn't had to sharpen it since, so they hold their edge extremely well, um, they're very durable, the cases, um, there's hundreds of different types of cases, but they always hold up well. A lot of uh, cases I get um, don't don't really work quite that well, but these um, the, these cases hold up quite well. So we're going to get into them um, knife by knife now. Uh, this one is the first one, like I said, I don't really know the name of it. Um, it's one of the apocalypse in the apocalypse, apocalypse series, I guess. It has a little apocalypse symbol there. Um, but it's a great little knife. Um, the only down I that, that there was, I mean, it's perfectly balanced. Now that I had to pick paracord, it's not too balanced. But I mean, it's it balances well, easy to maneuver, whatnot. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is the handle is a little short. Um, they went with the EXO. I don't know if y'all can tell, but they went with the exoskeleton kind of look, where they didn't finish out a handle, just gave you the piece of metal. Um, it was a little short, but if you just wrap it in some paracord like I did here, it it fits perfectly now. As you can see, that part, it, my wrapping keeps coming undone a little bit. I have to figure out a good way to fix that. But um, it fits perfectly in my hand where I have I have good control. It doesn't like poke out the side or the end a lot, nothing. Um, you can see that it you know, comes to a good point, but it's my fingers are just where they should be on the knife and everything um and they work perfectly wrapping it isn't too hard the only down thing about it is um when you put it in the case i'll show this to y'all quick when it's in the sheath uh it takes up part of the handle so when you take it out there's a gap there that you can't wrap or else it won't really fit in the sheath that well um it's it hasn't been a big issue yet but um i feel like if you if you're going to use it a lot you might want to try to figure out a way to really get it wrapped really tight, but for me, I just I just have to pull it out every now and then, and cut something with it. It's never been a big issue. Um, it fits. It works extremely well as a neck knife. I played a game. Of, I played soccer in it at some school. Um, I never. It wasn't like bouncing around a whole lot. I mean, it, it weighs practically nothing. I mean, just like this. I, I mean, have it on your neck for a minute, kind of get used to the feel of having it on there. If you're not a big necklace person, I'm not, but I mean, I can hardly ever tell it's there. Um, so it's it's very nice, very light, very durable. It is a K-Ball, obviously. And um, what I do like about K-Balls is they, they're all one piece of steel. As you can see, I mean, this one obviously being exoskeleton is going to be, but it's all just one piece of steel. It's all, so that, that makes it a whole lot stronger. Um, it's very sharp and everything. Um, another down to it is the case. Like, as you can see, it kind of has that curve right there. Um, which, I mean, I like. It adds nice style. But, uh, it does make it a little bit hard to put in the case at the beginning. Kind of have to get used to it. exactly how to put it in there. Not that it's hard, but you have to get used to it. You know, curve goes up there. Um, and just like, when you wear it, um, it's, it's hard to get used to just slipping it in there without looking. Um, so that's that's the first one. Like I said, it's a great little knife. I take it whenever I go running, um, anything like that. My friend got it for me. I think he said they're about ten bucks. Um, a lot of my other neck knives tend to slip out of the sheath. These don't. They're very easy. If you want to take them out, they're very easy to take out. But by the self, as you can see, you can shake it. 
and they don't really slip out at all. Um, everyone that I know that has one of these, I've read reviews on them, they, they say they're great, great knives, and they recommend getting them. Uh, most people buy five or six to either hand them out or have multiples um, in different locations of the house or the car or whatnot. Um, so this is a great little knife if you're looking um, for something small, whether it's to make a neck knife out of, or if you're trying to be able to conceal it um, in your car or in your shoe, something like that. Um, but still have a good, a good solid, nice size blade too. Um, then this is definitely a good knife, and I would recommend it. Now onto the next one is this is probably my favorite knife I've ever gotten right here. It is the K-Boy Warthog. As you can see, it looks like a beast. It is a beast. Um, they give you a nice cannon case we'll get into in just a second. But here it is right there. It's, uh, I believe it is all one piece of steel. Um, it uh, goes, runs into the handle. But it is extremely solid, uh, extremely sharp, has a nice point. Um, it, it does dip a little too, but you know, you can't really notice it too much. Um, what I what I do like about it is it has I literally said this is a fourth of an inch thick, um, and it so it makes it easy if you could use a I would call it like a knocking stick or whatever where you hold your knife up against a tree and use something to hit it in there. Uh, if you could use one of those, they give you a nice back for that. You can easily hit it anywhere along there, and it's pretty thick where it's not going to beat up your stick too much. Um, it has a nice big handle right there, as you all can see, where it, it makes it easy if you want to pound something, um, whether it might be trying to squish a fish head, um, like a squirrel head, or you're trying to pound a tent stake in, something like that. It works great for that. The handle has an extremely nice grip. Um, it is, it does poke out a little bit, which I'm generally not a huge fan of, but on this knife, it works well just because it kind of goes along with the style. Um, that is a preference to y'all. I do have my hands aren't that big. Um, I do generally hold my knives up close to the handle. That's just my personal preference. Some of my friends like holding them down at the bottom, some in the middle, whatnot. So it, um, it kind of allows you to, you know, it gives you extra room for if you have bigger hands, you're like holding your knife down lower to get more leverage, um, whatnot. Um, if you do hold it up and you don't really like that, it can get annoying sometimes, um, but I mean it's well worth it, and I mean it, it does add to the style of the knife a lot. Um, like I said, it is the K bar. Um, it's I mean it, it's a beast. Everything I've used it for, it's worked it's worked perfectly. Um, it does have a little hole there, in case you want to well, make like a little hand strap or something for it. I guess I don't really know. I don't like hand straps too much. But, um, it's, I, it, I would highly recommend getting this for your next fixed blade knife or anything like that. Um, I've been able to use it in place of my hatchet multiple times, whatnot. Um, my machete multiple times. It's, it's basically like a fixed blade knife, slash hatchet, slash machete, slash pocket knife. It's just an all around beast. You can, you, you can do whatever you'll need to do with it. This knife is the perfect knife. Now getting into the carrying case a little bit here. Um, it's up top, like all this part right here, that's all 100% genuine leather, except for the buttons there. Um, it does button in well, I'll show you that in a second. Has a little loop down here for you, um, if you want to like, t it's, it straps up like right there, but, um, they have a loop down there in case you want to attach it better, attach some, like attach something else to it, you could take your little knife here, um, attach that to that somehow, um, something like that. So it does have that option, and then it also secures it right there. The front right here is a nylon material kind of thing, um, so it's durable, whatnot. Um, the back, I'm I'm still not really sure what exactly the back is. It, it if you look right there, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's it looks like wood um, right there where the paints come off, but. Uh, I, I can't really tell what it is. Um, it the, the case looks pretty good. Um, the back isn't very durable. I've I don't know if, like I showed you before. I still don't know if y'all can see it, but right there, I've tried putting the knife in a few times, and I just like pressed up against that a little bit too much, and it's just rubbed it away. Um, so I don't really know. Maybe I don't really know if K-Bar just kind of gave you this as like a 
here's a holster for now kind of thing, but I would suggest getting a different one. Uh, not a holster, sheath for now, but I suggest getting a different one kind of thing, or not. But, um, it, it, it works well uh, for what I needed it. Putting it in there is a little bit tricky at the beginning, but it, you get pretty used to it. Um, you kind of just got to slip it in there and then push it over. Strap it down. And strap it down. So, those are my two newest knives and have become some of my favorite knives. I still really like my Smith & Wesson. Um, the, I got the Smith & Wesson Border Guard. If y'all want to look at that, it's, that's my day carry as a six inch blade um, I do I'm pretty sure this is a six and a half inch blade that one has a five and a half six inch blade um, but I would suggest getting that if you're looking for your pocket knife but these are my new um, my two new fixed blade knives right there they're wonderful um, everything I needed to do with them they've worked perfectly um, like I said the K bars are obviously great material or whatnot so if y'all are looking for a new knife I would definitely recommend um, one of these two, or a different K bar. Um, they have, I mean, K bar obviously has a huge line, and they're all going to be wonderful knives. So, um, there's that. Um, my shout outs, real quick go follow my friend's page. It is my friend's Instagram page. It is at Camo, uh, Camo Army, it's capital C A M O underscore um, A I M Y underscore. Um, go follow him. He has some sweet pics of redneck memes, um, landscape, hunting, fishing, trucks whatnot um it's it's pretty sweet and then my instagram page is rubble bow it's spelled just like it is on my youtube channel um go check that out um i don't post a whole lot of pictures because i'm not like a big picture guy but um i will start trying to post more uh, depending on, uh, i will start trying to post more probably so let me know what y'all think of this video in the comments if y'all want me to do anything else like this let me know, and I will see y'all next time. Later.